Welcome back to this channel once again. Here, we empower your existence with focus on your health and vitality. Yes, I said focus. That's what we say and we do every day. So whenever we talk about being healthy, eating well, or taking care of yourself, just remember, we want you to live a long, happy life. Let's get straight to it. Today's recipe is catfish pepper soup, or better still sauce. Now, some time ago, a friend of mine once joked with me and said, Chini, your recipe always has spices and pepper. I told her spices used in cooking can do a lot for our health. They can lower the chances of us getting cancer. Mm -hmm. They improve oral health. They help your stomach work better. And they even lower your blood pressure. These are things some people take medicine every day for. And of course, where I come from and most of African countries, we love spicy. We love spicy food. So today, I'm excited to share my recipe with you. And please don't forget to share this video. Like, comment, but most importantly, turn on this notification button so you can get our video once it's posted. All right, so follow me. Let's prepare this catfish, what you always yearn to eat anytime you see. It's not that costly. Just go to your local market, get a catfish from there, buy some spicy from your local market, prepare it at home, relax and eat your food. Happy viewing. All right. So I started by visiting my local market to get the live catfish. I let them kill the fish, remove the dead, then cut them for me. So as you can see, I'm at the shop. I'm trying to get the fish that I want, the big one, of course. <laughs> then over here are the ingredients for this soup. I have the fish, as you can see. Um, I have my uh, grounded crayfish, my pepper, vegetable oil, fresh mint leaf, my onions, my dry sand leaf, iodized salt, ginger, and garlic. You know, making this delicacy is very easy, simple, and short. All you have to do is to source your ingredients, then you're good. For me, the most important aspect of this cooking is washing off the mucus layer of the catfish skin, which is called sliming. So I do this by pouring the hot water on the fish. This helps lose the mucus on the skin. As you can see, I'm doing it over here, removing the slimy uh, back of the uh, fish. So I'm going to do this to all of them, sliming the fish. So this gives the fish a cleaner taste and make it easier to handle during preparation. The fish is clean, neat and ready. So let's get to it. I prep the onions, pepper, ginger and garlic, blend them together. So I'm using this quantity of pepper because of my case. So feel free to add more pepper if you want. Before I start this cooking, I already soak my dry scent leaf with warm water. This will soften the dry leaves. So I'm going to cut it in preparation for the delicacy. So the next step, so I have to pour my blended ingredients. You remember all I blended? I'll pour them in my pot. So um, add the scent leaf uh, with little amount of vegetable oil. Don't forget to add your salt, your iodized salt. Make sure you test it to make sure it's not too salty. Of course, you should know that this stage uh, is a stage that you have to be very careful of, of all the ingredients you're adding because um, this can make or mar the soup. <laughs> yes, this can make or mar the soup. And please always um, be careful about the quantity of water you're adding to your food. 
yes uh, sometimes people pour too much water at this stage so after this i, I turn the sauce checking if um the quantity of the salt will be able to cook my fish adding a little water will make no harm so um i gently and carefully add my fish in the sauce as you can see um please don't turn this preparation at this time to prevent the fish from breaking in the pot whenever you're done cover your pot start cooking on a low heat as you can see my fish is beginning to cook and while waiting for it um i peel my mint leaf wash it with water and salt and cut it to my desired size then the final stage is adding my fresh leaf into my sauce and that's it the food is ready so some people can eat this catfish prepared soup with white rice and some other people can eat it just like that tell me what you think about this delicacy in the comment section thank you so much for watching bye